we thought you might be interested in what we're doing here with, with dry beans. Uh, this is the second year of, of the trial, and what we're looking at is different planting dates uh, with, with pinto beans. Uh, the variety we're using is Lariette. And uh, before I talk about the, the trial, um, if you care to open up your, your uh, reference, uh, the Carrington Center reference on page 9, actually the last slide on page 9 with, in the dry beans section, uh, this is uh, some data from last year where we, we conducted uh, data planting trials with, with uh, pinto beans. Uh, we had a trial here, um, and then also Burton Johnson, who is an alternative crop researcher, he also had a trial here that included um, pinto beans, and then he also had one at Prosper. And so if you look at that database, again, it's on page 9, the very last dry bean slide, you see that uh, the planting dates of mid-May to late May to early June, uh, the yields are all very similar. And uh, at least here at the Carrington Center, we did get rains last August, like we're not getting this year. And I think that's what, that helped us maintain the yield potential of the, the latest planting um, bean. We were expecting that the early planted maybe would have a higher yield potential. And we'll see what happens uh, this year. So in, in this year's trial, we are using lariettes, and uh, the planting dates are identified. Uh, our intention, of course, was to plant earlier and what we actually did, but at least we got three planting dates down. And so the, the first one is, is on the end, and, uh, and then we have the, the second, which is June 7th, and the last one was on, on June 17th. Uh, a change we made this year in the trial is that we, we added three different planting rates because the question was, well, if we plant very early, maybe we'll have more stand loss and maybe be advantageous to plant a higher rate versus a standard on pintos where we like to establish 70,000 plants per acre. So we're, we're planting at the rates of 60, 80, and 100,000 seeds per acre, expecting about a 10% loss, um, at least at, uh, in early season. So uh, with each block of, of the planting dates, uh, each two rows is a different planting rate. And so this is the first rep, and so it's the, the low, medium, high planting rate is, is uh, present. So for example, get it right place. These two rows would be the low during the mid planting date. This would be the, the middle planting rate and, and the high. And you see that our beans at this point, with the first two planting dates, are, are at maturity, are very close with the, nearly all the plots with the second planting date, and uh, won't be long with, with the, the third planting date, we'll hit that. So, how's the yield going to be? We're anxious to see um, if there is a planting date effect, in particular this year where we have a, a very dry season. Uh, any questions? Uh, the question was, do we see lodging differences with the seeding rates? No, not offhand, we haven't. You know, do you see anything? Uh, you just, okay. You'd have to walk the whole thing to really yeah. make a conclusion. Uh, that will be something we'll, we'll make sure that we keep an eye on, maybe take notes if, if it's possible.